Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Bill McFenn from Tone Pure Music. And in this video, we're going to compare the Hans Zimmer strings, longs, the long patch, to the Spitfire symphonic strings, long patch. Both libraries are by Spitfire Audio. So it'll be interesting to hear the difference. So here we go. The first patch we'll look at is the Hans Zimmer 60 violins. And at the end of this video, I have a playlist with getting into the details of the Hans Zimmer strings. But this will just be a quick comparison between the longs, between the two libraries. Now, the way I have it set up, the violins and all the Hans Zimmer and all of the Spitfire symphonic strings are going to be using the close and the tree mics for comparison. So let's go ahead and listen to the 60 violins and then we'll compare that with the symphonic strings violins. So here we go. Now we'll compare the 20 Hans Zimmer violins. To the Spitfire violins. Now let's take a look at the Hans Zimmer violas. Fire violas. Now, also in the violas, we have, we're not using any reverb other than room reverb through the close and the tree mics. And I'm going to add some vibrato because the to the Hans Zimmer violas now to compare with the symphonic strings violas because they do have live um, reverb in them as well. Or sorry, vibrato in them as well. As a matter of fact, if we look at the actual viola patch <clears throat> in the symphonic strings, we see the we have full vibrato and the speed is by default turned up. And also you can see we have the close and the tree mic selected. Now let's take a look at the cellos. Now the Hans Zimmer Cells has a 60 patch and three 20 patches, 20 cello patches. So we'll compare the 60 initially. So here's our cellos. And then here's your cellos. Symphonic. Here's the 20 cellos from the Hans Zimmer. Now, the one big thing that differentiates the two libraries is the number of mic positions we have in Hans Zimmer. Right now we're just using two and we're also just using two in the symphonic, Spitfire symphonic library. So we do have a third mic position, which we could go ahead and activate. And then we'll add a, another mic position in the 20 cellos. 
So let's go ahead and do ambient. And then compare those three mic positions with these three. And in the uh, Spitfire symphonic strings, you actually have 10 cellos. So we're comparing 20 with 10. So it sounds rather full just with the 10 cellos. But then again, we could go ahead in the Hans Zimmers and we could add more mic positions. And then you get an even bigger sound so there's a gallery and there's spots. Let's go ahead and activate the spots and you'll see the difference, how much of a difference that does make. We're waiting for the memory to catch up. We're at about three gigs. Okay, I think it's in there now. Can down, control the volume a little bit. Now in comparison. And in the basses, we have 24 basses. the Spitfire basses and the Spitfires you have eight. Add in the interface for the basses, for the Hans Zimmer basses. See, we have the close and the tree, and we can do the same thing we did for the cellos. We can add the close, left center, and even right, and you get a really thick bass sound. And let's go ahead and add an additional mic. We'll do the ambient mic. So let's going up now to a little over half a gig. And if you notice the memory in the Hans Zimmer, we're up to 3.7 gigs. So we're using a lot, lot more memory. So here's your Spitfire. And then we also have a, an ensemble patch in the Spitfire as well. So let's go ahead and put in the ambient mic. And you can see we're up around 1.2 gigs for the uh, ensemble patch. And it's still climbing. So we're up to So you see, no matter what we do, we're not going to come close to the intensity of the 24 basses. So in summary, the Hans Zimmer does add a level of intensity and breadth that you will, which you can add to the uh, Spitfire symphonic strings. So it's not a duplicate. It definitely, because mainly of the mic positions, 
you get so much more body in all of your categories that uh, I would say it's a worthwhile investment. And uh, at the end, there will be a link for the the playlist with the Hans Zimmer strings. So I've done a lot of videos comparing them to other libraries and one more or less overview. So if you want to get into more de details on the various articulations of the Hans Zimmer strings, I would direct you to that playlist and choose a video appropriately. So this is Bill McFadden. If you like this video, please click like. If you wish to subscribe and be notified of upcoming videos, then please subscribe. So Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music.